Hi, this is your astronomer from Helsinki, and I'm trying to um, cover something about a function. Uh oh, <coughs> don't be afraid, those are rainbow functions. I'm uh, working with ChatGPT in doing my spectral reduction and uh, tutorial steps, and I think I need to cover this topic of um, dispersion function is like a rainbow function. Okay, so let's say you have a 7x7 seven seven pixel CCD and that's all uh, that your CCD uh, knows. That E square represents one pixel. There are 7 in X direction and 7 Y direction. The CCD doesn't know anything about wavelengths. Now, I observed my galaxy spectrum. I collected the data with a long slit spectrograph feature uh, where a slit is positioned to capture the light coming from uh, the galaxy. And my galaxy is not a point, like a star. It's not a point source. It's an extended feature. And the way I positioned the slit allowed me to um, collect the data on a CCD in Y direction for the wavelengths. So the light disperses into different wavelengths across the Y or a vertical direction. But the X is my spatial. Here I will write lambda for wavelengths because it's an extended object. So I get a signature, not just you know one line, but I get a signature um that covers several maybe less at the ends pixels so uh, the dispersion function allows you to understand how a position like this is xy coordinate is coordinates 1, 1. This one is 1, 2, right? x equals to 1, y equals to 2. But what is it in terms of wavelengths? So this is a 2D situation, right? So dispersion function will allow you to identify 1, 4 pixel, what it represents in terms of wavelengths, and 2, 4, and 3, 4. So your rainbow function gives you a transformation between XY CCD to wavelengths in angstroms.